Howdy howdy fellow YouTubers, Mr. Z Bunch Numbers here with a Hot Wheels collection update. I'm sitting here on the bed and I am looking at the cars I pick up at the Pablo hosted Hot Wheels collector get together slash trade and it's uh, Hot Wheels party type thing and yeah as I promised I'm going to go ahead and show you what I picked up at Pablo's fiasco and then I will also show you some cars that me and the Z lady picked up at a local toy show that was at a church and um, I will let Mrs. Z update her cars later on but these will be just the cars that I picked up so anyways let's get to it do it to it first car I got for free is the uh, Wally exclusive black E3 Chevy Silverado. I already had one of these, but I ripped it open on accident. I hadn't intended to open up any exclusives, but when I did that ripping a hundred and something video videos, I hastily ripped open some cars that I forgot were exclusives. So I got that one from free from Pablo. Thank you, Pablo. And then one of the cars that I got for uh, 50 cents. I got a bunch of cars for 50 cents. I'll just kind of go through them randomly is this uh, Nash Metropolitan with this wild, wild, wild decos on it. It's kind of got like, uh, I don't know, vintage slash tribal whatever type design. It's from the Scrap Heads series from 2004, I believe, collector number 157, if you're interested in picking that up at some point in time. And then I also picked up this sweet Buick Grand National from uh, the toy show that we went to after Pablo's party for 50 cents. Yes! The guy was selling the Hot Wheels for uh, two for a buck, so picked up quite a few. I shouldn't say quite a few, but a handful. And then also from that same seller, picked up for 50 cents, the Corvette Grand Sport in black. I think I only have the uh, red version of this, so went ahead and picked up the Purdy Lady in black. And also the Dark Riders series, Rig of Mortar. Um, I think I got this one for 50 cents as well, if I'm not mistaken. But this was at uh, Pablo's get together from one of the collectors that attended. Alrighty, and then also got the Dark Rider series split in image two with the PC6 wheels or the uh Pro I think they're Pro Circuits. Um so correct me on that if you like. Also got the Silhouette 2. Very nice. I did have these before but they came on trash cards from eBay. I showed a video of opening those a really long time ago, but wanted to go ahead and pick up those cars again. And then the Corvette C6 from the Clover Car Series. Very clean decos. And then this main line, so fast, in the matte black or flat black from the Collector Series Basic Cars of 2001 and then another one that is so wicked sweet the Wastelanders Plymouth Barracuda and a 50 cent Wastelander and the thing that's cool about this is this is a 2007 first editions I have never seen it with the little kickstand or little uh maintenance stand. It's really cool. It's got a little Hot Wheels logo on it. Now I'm sure Mattel eliminated this for uh, cost and safety purposes, but I thought that that was really sweet. So anyways, pick that up. And another really cool one I'm very happy to get for 50 cents at the toy show from that one seller that I picked up a couple cars from. I think I got about eight or nine of them. But yeah, Carbonator. And the cool part about it, kind of funny, look at that bottle nose. Hmm, that logo looks familiar. Wait, is that a treasure hunt? Oh my goodness, it's a treasure hunt! No, it's the first edition Carbonator. It's kind of funny that they had uh, the Carbonator with the treasure hunt logo only, what, five years ago now? 
<laughs> so anyways, I guess they already had a pre-treasure hunt. Mattel, why did you do the same treasure hunt over again? Silly kids. And then I picked this up for a buck. You might call me crazy. Um, just because this isn't worth more than a buck. Or hardly even the buck. But it was a car from my childhood that I had loved, played, and I still have somewhere, but don't really... Couldn't find it when I went to look for it. But I like to pick up these ones that are carded just to kind of uh, have for nostalgic purposes. And then the Gleam Team Porsche 959. Nothing too fancy. And then the 1964 Buick Riviera with some kind of tribal flames just kind of outlined in white on the silver paint. A little bit hard to pick up, but it's kind of cool. And I keep on going and and, but they keep on going. This is an error. The axle was misplaced. I've seen this on another car before. Or I should say the, the same casting in another uh, variation before. So it must have been an issue with the production process with that car when they went to put them together. And then a mismatch wheel error. Picked this up in a trade as one of the extra cars tossed in. PR5 rears and Y5 fronts. Another car thrown in on a trade is this 2001 B Engineering Adonis. And I picked up one of these super vans from uh, my collect friend Pablo. One of the cars uh, he gave to me for free. You know me, I like my super vans. Another cheapy car that I picked up, the Pride Rides 1940 Ford Coupe. Another, another cheap car for I think it's 50 cents. Ferrari 348 in pink. For some reason, I like these pink cars. Call me goofy, but I like them. And another car picked up as part of a trade is this Highway Hauler 2. I only saw one of these in the wild. I didn't pick it up because I just figured I'd see it again. And no sense in buying about 15,000 of them. I'd just be patient and wait for it. But never saw another one. So I went ahead and tossed that in on a trade as part of a deal. No big deal. And then I have two cars that I accidentally picked two of. Um, I got one at Pablo's party and then one at the toy show. So it's kind of silly, but um, I'm going to go ahead and open one of these at the end of the video, I think. And then I have a Shadow Jet 2. Another car from my childhood that I absolutely love. This one has the ultra hot wheels behind the little uh, wheel well covers. But yeah, I really like this car as a kid, and man, if I only I could, I gotta dig these cars out and do a video of some more of my childhood cars again, and then have them matched up with the carded versions that I have. Oh, and this goes on. Then I got this Hummer, the Chrome Burners series. Mrs. Z likes this one, so I need to get this one to her. And then another one that Mrs. Z liked, the Mustang Mach 1. Not a huge fan of the Tamples, but I do like the silver with the PR5 wheels. A very sweet dairy delivery with the old school style uh, super van flames. I really like that this is a th kind of a throwback to those original deco styles. Kind of reminds me of that blue super van that was hard to find back in the days, but just a dairy delivery. So anyways, that looks really sweet. And now on to the bread and butter of what I did get. Got this nice little Union 76 Promo Zender Fact 4. Nothing too fancy. Thrown in for free in one of my purchases at the toy show is this awesome Aries wagon. I think the guy saw how much I liked it. I put it back because he was asking $4 for it. He came down to 3 and when I put it down, he said, oh, I'll take two for it. But I still let it go, and I purchased another cars, and I think he's like, well, I could just see how much he loved that beater. So he just threw it in on the deal for me. Really, really cool. And from that guy, I also purchased another beater, Superman. Yes! Finally added the yellow paramedic van. I really enjoy adding these, uh beater vans to my collection um my collector friend Pablo's like why would you get that beater when there's a mint one right there I'm like Pablo like you say with your cars it doesn't fit in my collection if it's not a beater silly goose 
And cars that I picked up in a trade. A Mustang. Two. Oh yeah, show us, baby. I have wanted one of these so bad. I traded an RLC, a cheaper common RLC car for this, but to me it's worth it. I really like it. It's got clean tampos on both sides. Pretty clean. Not perfect, but really nice nonetheless. And also, this wicked sweet Tom McGowan Mongoose. Yes! I've been dying to get one of these suckers, and this thing's got near perfect tampos. It does have play wear, but to be honest, I'm happy. Finally got my Corvette funny car! I've wanted one of these so bad! You all know I am a Corvette monster, so very happy to finally get that. And if you haven't noticed already, in the background is this wicked sweet Chaparral. Got this for ten bucks at the toy show. Now from what I know the wings probably a reproduction, but other than that, it's original. Got the original stickers, original paint, original deck lid, original rivets. You can see there was at one point in time that Hot Wheels sticker on the base that was taken off. Would have been interesting if it was still there, but still sweet nonetheless. So I got that for ten bucks. In one of the trades that I did, got this sweet school busted chase. No big deal, but I've been really been dying to get one of those and thrown in on one of my trades with Pablo is this wicked sweet hot bird hot ones wheels with these smoky and bandit style phoenix on the hood and last but not least is this really nice Chevy panel oh yeah so anyways that's what I picked up hope you all enjoyed peace and do my next update